Good morning, you guys, or good afternoon. It's already past noon. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is having a blessed and beautiful day. And thank you guys for coming on here and hopping. Hopping. Thank you for hopping on with me. <laughs> All right. I am going to do a James Avery collection video. The beautiful Don Los Couture requested this video. So thank you, sweetheart. I love... Whoops. I love it when my subscribers give me wonderful ideas and suggestions. So let's do this. Okay. First off, let's start with all the necklaces. I have this 16 inch K a light cable chain. Then I have the, where is it? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. 26 inch, 26 inch light, uh, rope it's called a rope chain is if you can tell what that looks like but that is the light rope chain and ignore my rough hands guys and then i have the medium 18 inch medium cable chain medium and then of course the this is called 19 inch 19 it's not it's called a spiga chain but this is a light spiga chain if you can tell the beautiful braiding oh, let's see we're not trying to focus on the dirty hand well they're clean but they're just really a little rough no amount of lotion will see this is the the same braiding technique and this is the heavy spiga chain and this is the light one and of course i have my 14 inch no 14 carat 18 18 inch gold chain and that is the only gold piece i have and all right and of course my beaded cable charm bracelet i like it. it's not they have these this is a regular beaded uh no this is the beaded one because it has beading on the side but this is a regular cable uh, charm bracelet and as Christ rescued me heart that I added to that and I added heart to the matching neck I got a matching set so a necklace and matching set okay and then these are the charms really quick on my uh, telephone my husband called me all day long so that's why that is so special to me a heart a mother's heart because I, I love my babies and a flower pot for my daughter a shoe because I love shoes and a beautiful heart to remind me that time is precious and to spend it with the ones you love most a beach a shell of course because I love the beach so much and birdhouse to remind me of that beautiful Bible verse that the Lord takes care of the birds of the air how much more he will take care of us and a beautiful lock I love the little locks and then the key to match and in between that is this big old pine cone for my oldest son and then an acorn for my younger son and then a cupcake because I love sweets and a beautiful carriage because I love carriage well carriage I'm a mom so I love this baby carriage and this beautiful James Avery flower that represents my sweet sister that passed away two years ago and it has a little her birthstone it's the november birthstone and next are the pendants and i have this beautiful blue topaz pendant that i got to match my blue topaz ring so those and then my jubilant heart pendant i love this thing so beautiful and deco decalant it's decalant <laughs> Delicate. Uh, I no possible the best. Can I put? I cannot speak. And then it's my quarterful key. So I love keys. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, English is the second language for me. And then uh, these bands. This is a twisted wire. And then that is a regular one. And then of course my, I call it my brass knuckles. <laughs> I love this because it's so heavy and substantial. When I'm with my kids, I wear this all the time just in case you don't have to knock somebody out for trying to mess with my little kids. 
and of course the teapot and I will show you guys my shots and videos and how all this beautiful jewelry looks on thank you for sticking around okay this is my blue topaz pieces I like to coordinate what little pieces I have but I love how it catches the light so beautifully And sometimes I'll mix it up with a different chain since this is all silver and with the gold kind of is the gold is more of a skin tone so it really makes this piece stand out a lot okay there that one okay I paired it now with this medium or I think it's medium heavy cable chain you can see it does add a little bit more depth to the neck area. And you can see how that coordinates. That's why I love mixing and matching or interchanging the chains, the chain, the necklaces with the pendants. Okay, and this is one of my key pendants. I think it's called a okay. And this is with the very light Spiga chain. And it being so much thinner, it really makes the key stand out a lot more. So if you want the keys to stand out versus the actual necklace on your neck, the thinner you go, the more the pendant is on display. All right, now I have my jubilant heart pendant, and this is such a delicate and thin pendant. I like to pair it with a light speed of chain. That way it really stands out. Because if you put on an even heavier one, you know, it takes away from the actual pendant itself. But yeah, I love this one. These are all my favorite pieces. I don't have many, but it's not about quantity. It's about how much do you use them? Because I've had pieces I wasn't using. I just got rid of them. All right, and this is a perfect example of a really substantial chain. This heavy speaker chain is so, so I have it with my other key pendant, my quarter foil key. But you can see the focus is really on this chain. So it really takes away from these, some of these pins and I got the sisterhood ring on. So beautiful. And then the praise you light, but that's how I like to wear this just by itself sometimes, just like this. And the chain itself, it's so substantial and so, so pretty and so delicate. The braiding on it, it's really beautiful and it really comes beautiful and takes pictures beautifully. And yeah, I love that. Now this one is the longest chain I have, and this is the 26 inch. And I have my little teapot on there, which I, you guys know I love my teapots and Royal Albert and all that jazz. So that's the cable chain. It's so beautiful, I love it. I like to have, a, and this is more of a, I guess, casual piece. I've got a few pieces. Well, you can interchange them, but that is that one guys all right and now this is the cable heavy cable bracelet and necklace matching necklace I absolutely love this piece I love the coordinating breast bracelet and what's neat is I can turn this around and have the heart on the back of my neck and just have it like that also I like a multifunctional piece you know a piece you can interchange and play around with and 
have options from it. Different looks. But this is another beautiful piece. Okay. Okay, next is the light cable chain. And what I like to do with my rings sometimes is wear it like that. Got options. So yeah, if you guys have rings, y'all can totally wear them. Like necklaces or pendants. Pendants on a necklace. <laughs> and y'all will have to let me know which of your favorite pieces or combinations is your favorite. Because, let's see. That's pretty. You can wear just one also, but I like the... The look of this double double ring too but you can wear it just the one but I like the mixed materials and different looks guys and of course my bracelet and what's neat about interchanging necklaces and bracelets from James Avery. I'll show you guys how I like to wear this charm bracelet when I want to be hands free, when I don't want anything on my hands. And I'll show you guys in a second how I love to wear this. Ta da! <laughs> I have it clipped on this end, and then the other end is clipped on this end of the bracelet. But I like to wear it like this sometimes. Cooperate charms. Come on, y'all. They flat. They normally behave. I don't know why they're throwing a fit right now. But anyways, I like to wear it like this. Of course, if I have a more casual t-shirt and I just put on this black thing to make the jewelry pop more. But this is how I wear my... So if y'all have charm bracelets, y'all can really have a charm necklace. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think it's kind of mm, tacky? I don't think it's tacky. But, yeah, and that's how that looks. So thank you guys for hanging around and enjoying this jewelry with me. And I will do my daily and loving memory verse for my sister and thank you all guys for watching from the bottom of my heart y'all mean so much to me y'all really do you guys are amazing so thank you guys stay tuned for okay, that and this is the bible verse i'm going to share with you guys it is one peter chapter three verses three to four it says do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. And I love this verse because it always reminds me so much that my in, my inner person matters more than this outside the, person. It just shows who you are as a person. You know, it really does. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. I hope this verse has blessed you guys. I love to do these and thank you for letting me do these. I do these in honor of my sweet sister that passed away two years ago. You know, it's something that I like to incorporate in all my, most of my videos whenever God puts on my heart a certain verse. And I figured this would be the perfect verse for my jewelry collection video. <laughs> I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And also comment which which um, piece you liked and, you know, how, you know, I mixed and matched them if you like anything in particular. Thank you guys. Y'all are a blessing and I'm so humbled and so thankful for you guys. I... I have no words to, to words enough to thank you guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed week. Thank you.